welcome back subscribers uh followers videoers and all that good stuff we planned to do a previous recorded intro that mapped out flag rock and several other places most all the places we'd already been last minute one of the gentlemen that rides with us on a regular basis and we do a lot of work on the machine requested that we go to Sophia Tunnels. So it is, according to my arm watch here, freckle here, it says it's about 9.15 to 9.30. We're gonna make a run at Sophia Tunnels. It's about an 80 mile trip today. Um, so anyway, we're gonna change our route. I remapped it out right quick uh, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll make this run successful. It's gonna be a little journey because I hear it is, it's a long day to get to Sophia Tunnels and we are getting out of here a little late, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, well, everybody done went inside. All right, happy trail. Oh, there they come, there comes the rest of the crowd. So we got the uh, blue donkey side of it. We got the central side of it. We got the black pearl. And we're getting ready to hit the trail. We'll see you on the trails. All right, so here we are on Bob T's map um, on Oryx. This is our Sophia run. I was going to show you kind of here on the map which way we went. It was about uh, an 80 mile, 85 miles, I believe about 40 miles there, 40 miles back from where we stayed at. We stayed at Wrong Turn Pizza. I will show you. You can see Wrong Turn Pizza in the middle of the trail. I'm sorry, in the middle of the map. And we stayed right up here at Miner's Inn, right above that. That's about where we stayed at, right there. And then we just shot all the way up out this way. Came down here to Happy McCoy Indian Ridge, took 28 out. Came down here to what used to be Soggy Bottom, took it all the way out. Crumpler Mountain Road, shot down Crumpler Mountain Road, all the way down to uh, Bear Town. I'm sorry, Bear Town. Yeah, Bear Town Road. A little cut over. Came down it to uh, the playground. We took the playground loop all the way out. We bared off on the on that on this green trail here on the play of the playground. And we followed it up back on to Ashland. And what we was doing was trying to, you know, not take the roads all the way. Uh, we did a lot of uh, dirt road and, or a little bit of dirt road, a lot of trails, and a, and a little bit of pavement. I'd say it was mostly 70% or 60% trails, 20%, uh, maybe 30% um, dirt road or gravel road. And then the rest of it was... Um, pavement came right here to the shortcut took the shortcut down here into uh, Herndon come down to Herndon and took a, a left up on Stevenson Basin Road according to the map I'm not sure if that's the actual name of the road but that's what it's labeled on the map it goes on up the mountain pretty good ways there it's a pretty windy road and then we bared off on it on this on the on that green trail Stevenson Peak Ridge Followed it, cut over on it to Peaks Ridge Road. We took Peaks Ridge Road up to John John H. Cemetery. That little red trail cut through. Uh, we did it, and then we came back up the pavement a little ways. Got back on another green trail here. Uh, came over to this destination trail is what it's labeled on here. This is actually a pretty cool little trail it's um runs beside the, between the river and the railroad tracks it's actually kind of wooded a little bit so it's it's a real neat trail took it all the way up into the other uh riding park up here we stayed on it all the way if you switch over to lifetime trail maps you'll see a lot more trails up through here but following Bob T's, I tried to run both of them so we could see what kind of, if there was any other trails we'd want to take. But this was a pretty good trail and a pretty straightaway. Straight shot, quick shot to get there. Um, but Lifetime does show a lot of other trails branching off of this that you could take. But it would just probably be a slower route. So we followed this all up into Sophia Tunnels. 
there's one kind of sketchy spot there. The rest of it really not too bad. Uh, when we got here to, through Sophia Tunnels, we came out on the highway right there. And due to a family emergency, we had to run the highway back. We had to get back in about two hours. So we ran the highway back most of the way, the highway and uh, Crumper Mountain Road. But there is our route to get to uh, Sophia Tunnels. And there's actually only one tunnel open, Tunnel 2. Tunnel 1 is closed, but it was open. Uh, so there you go. Took about, it says 37.83 miles. Is the way I mapped it out, it ended up being like around 40 to 45 miles total, I believe, on the odometers of the machines. So there you go.
you going? Yeah. All right. We're uh, we're here about eight miles probably from the Sophia Tunnels on the uh, gravel access road that runs along the railroad tracks. Coming, coming up to Sophia. Uh, stopped in here. This little lunch break place we've seen right here off the side of the off the side of the tracks. There goes some people probably coming back from the tunnels. Uh, cool little lunch spot. Like I said, it's about probably about eight miles is what we got left to go to get there. Out of a uh, forty mile trip one way, so it's going to be about eighty miles total. We got about eight miles to go to be to the tunnels, and then it's turn around and pretty much go back the same way you came. But anyway, nice little stream down there. Go to a lunch spot. So we'll catch you in a little bit. That's deep. I had to open the door to let it out. 